Hi again. So I mixed up some pouring medium, which uh, was the uh, Vivid Enamel from uh, the Primary Elements Company um, and Polycrylic. So two parts Vivid, one part Polycrylic. I used that as my pouring medium in the um, primary elements paints. So I have Mallard Green and Playful Peony. I made my own gold and copper together and I have Pearl X's Rose Gold and uh, Vavoom Red and dogs must see a cat again. Um, and I have my black, which is Sargent's black mixed with Floetrol and water. And I have white, which is uh, two ounces of Floetrol and about a half a teaspoon of Amsterdam titanium white. Uh, at some point in time, I am going to try the blooms, but... Uh, I'm not ready yet. I have to do some more mixing and figure out exactly what I'm doing or want to do. So I got this really nice canvas and I thought that I would try this with the black and these metallic paints because I really love metallics on black and I'm just going to do different colors in uh, spots and I'm going to use my airbrush that's what it is it's an airbrush to blow it in different areas There's something in my black I'll have to get a toothpick there is a toothpick. So I'm just kind of trying to make it uh, full of paint here. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but we'll find out as we go. And I've never tried this before, and I'm not going to use the same colors in the same spots. So we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, so I'm going to put this dark one down. And I'm going to put this one with it. And it doesn't matter where they go because I'm just going to blow it with the air, whatchamacallit. And this is the golden copper that I mixed together. And then I have the green, mallard green. And this baboom red certainly is baboom. I like this color. It's it's a very nice bright color along with the dark so I think it's going to be nice and I'm going to add a little bit of white here and there just a little tiny bit like that and then I'm going to use my airbrush hooray I remembered the name
would start to develop with that. I hope I'm not wearing any paint. I probably am. Of course, on this shirt, you won't even be able to tell with all the colors in it. So, I am going to tilt this. But I'm going to leave the negative space uh, around the outside like it is. back to the center. That one tile that I did with the excess paint and all those fish showed up I thought, wow, that was so fascinating. It needs more color down this end. See if I can do a little something I was worried about putting the white in there, but it isn't overbearing, so I like that. I like to get some of those lighter colors down in that corner up there. Okay, I think I'm going to let this dry and uh, see how it comes out dry. I really like all those um, metallic cover colors. And again, I'm going to show you that one with the fish. I can't wait to get the uh, final coat on there. It'll be really nice with that vinyl coat. I think those fish will even stick out more. It is very unique. And this one fish, it could either be facing that way, or here's the mouth here and it faces this way. It's just so unique. You see what I mean? You can look at it either way.
we're still dealing with the broken water heater. The floors are dry now, so they have to come and put the wallboard back up and the carpet back on. And all our stuff was packed up, taken out. When they're done with all that, they'll have to bring it all back. I hope this is not too thick in the middle. This did not have a brace in the middle here. So, you can see I can push up on it. Uh, maybe doing this will help it a little bit if I push up on it. Of course, I don't have my gloves on. And there is a big air bubble. So you know what we do with air bubbles. Yep, a lot of air bubbles are popping. It seems like they're just coming up now. They weren't there before. But they're there now, and they are popping. Okay, we'll see what happens. So, on my next video, I'll show you the dried result from this, and I'll also figure out something good to do with this one. This one doesn't have, is, is, is thick on the sides, and it also has a support board in the middle, so that'll be good. I might put something between the support board and the canvas. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. And uh, if I don't do a video, or you don't see one of my videos before Christmas, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And uh, as again, again, I say thank you so much. And I'm very curious to see how this comes out. And I hope you are as well. Bye-bye for now.